It's time for Bible study. I think I should call Gloria. Hello? Hey Gloria, this is Sharon. I got a new number. Oh, hey, what's up? Nothing much. I'm just calling to check if you'll be joining the Bible study today. I It's going to be starting soon and I haven't seen you log on in some time. I hope everything is alright. Oh no, I'm just really busy. Um, maybe next week. Okay, no problem. I'll be praying for you. Okay, thanks. Bye. Alright, have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye. This is very much unlike Gloria. I hope everything is fine. <sighs> Let me go prep myself for Bible study. Hey Gloria, need to have Bible study today. Is everything all right? Hey, uh, sorry, I was busy. Oh, it seems you've been busy as of late. Has anything changed? Yeah, I got a promotion at my job, so my workload has been heavy. Ah, uh, congratulations on your promotion, sis. Praise God, He's the one who gave you the promotion. But please remember to make time for Him and for the fellowship with the brethren. Hebrews 10 25 says, and let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. I'm happy for you, sis, but please try to make time for God, and God will continue to help you. Okay, thanks. Um, I have to go now. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Yes, my love. I think we should pray for Sister Gloria. I agree with you. She has been on my heart all day. Seriously? Yes. Mm. I really think her heart is hardened and God wants to break through. Yes. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father in heaven, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. For our sister, Sister Gloria. Yes. Lord, we pray that you, God, will break up the fallow ground of our heart. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Help our Lord to realize that you are the good shepherd. Amen. You are the God that leaves the 99 for the one. Yes, Lord. Father, say, Sister Gloria, by your grace. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. It is well. Amen. And I believe God has done it. Hallelujah. Hi, everyone. Thanks for calling into Bible study. Today we are talking about the parable of the lost sheep. Samuel, can you read Luke chapter 15 verse 4 to 7? Thank you. Luke chapter 15 verses 4 to 7. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. 
Doesn't he leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? Five. And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders. Six. And goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me. I have found my lost sheep. Seven. I tell you that in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. Hallelujah. From this scripture, we can see the parallel of the parable to the nature of God. He seeks us and pursues us consistently. He always makes the first move in bringing us back to him. Did anyone else receive something from this scripture? Hi, everyone. Um, first, I want to apologize because I haven't been present at Bible study. And some of y'all have reached out to me about it. The truth is, I, I fell back into some old sin. Um, and I dreaded coming here. But today, I see how I'm the lost sheep and how God has been tugging at my heart and pursuing me and using y'all to reach me. So I'm just here to repent of my sin and rededicate my life to Jesus. Oh, praise, praise God. We Hallelujah. thank God for this testimony. Brothers and sisters, let's pray. Father, in Jesus name, we thank you for today. We thank you, Lord, for our sister, Lord, for bringing her back to you. We thank you for answered prayers. We thank you, Lord, for the work that you have done in her life. We pray in Jesus' name that, Lord, she will not go back to what she has left behind. But, Father, in Jesus' name, she will remain committed to you, O God. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you, Father, once again. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. When the world has overwhelmed my spirit.